The new Star Wars anime project, Star Wars Visions, has revealed new details about the storylines and settings for the multi-episode anthology series, including their places in the larger Star Wars timeline. During a press conference in Tokyo, Japan, the anime production studios working on Star Wars Visions presented previews of episodes including The Twins, The Elder, The Duel, and The Ninth Jedi. They are all pretty interesting concepts, and they were presented with new details about how particular episodes fit into the timeline of Star Wars, with some pivotal episodes set at both the beginning and end of the Skywalker saga. Star Wars Visions, The Elder, Studio Triggers from Kill la Kill, Masahiko Otsuka revealed that this episode of Star Wars Visions will be set before Star Wars The Phantom Menace. The Elder will explore the dynamic of Jedi Masters and their Padawans during that time of the Republic, giving new fans a fresh entry point into the series. As Otsuka explains, our story is not directly connected to any of the characters from the films, but it explores the idea of the Jedi Knights and the Master and Padawan dynamic in an older setting. Star Wars Visions The Twins Studio Trigger's Hiroyuki Imaishi revealed that this episode of the series will be set after Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. The remnants of the Imperial Army have raised a pair of twins on the dark side of the Force, and the story goes from there. Star Wars Visions The Nin's Jedi Production IGs from Ghost in the Shell, Kenji Kamiyama revealed this story is also set after the rise of Skywalker and gave this lengthy synopsis. I wondered, after episode 9, has the galaxy settled into peace? We all love stories of the Jedi and lightsabers, but what became of the Jedi Knights after the movie series? My story is about that. When I first saw Star Wars, I was fascinated by the story of this kid, Luke Skywalker, who came from nothing and went on a huge adventure. And for me, that is the root of Star Wars charm. So I wanted to depict a galactic level adventure with a different character. Star Wars Visions, Lob and Ocho Geno Studios from Golden Kamui, Yuki Igarashi revealed that this story is set between Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope, a new favorite era of the franchise. The soundtrack will be John Williams style classic Star Wars music with a Japanese twist. As for the story, the Galactic Empire is expanding throughout space. On a particular planet where the inhabitants are very close to nature, the Empire lands and builds a base. Their new technology causes conflict with the inhabitants, and the protagonist Ocho, who is the daughter in a kind of local Yakuza family, meets the enslaved orphan Lope, who is a humanoid rabbit-like alien creature inspired by Jackson from the classic Star Wars comics. They meet and form a familial bond that is not bound by blood. Star Wars Visions The Duel Kamikaze Dogas from Batman Ninja Junpei Mizusaki worked with Afro Samurai creator Takashi Okazaki on an episode meant to shine a Last Jedi style light on Star Wars. The Jedi vs. the Sith and the Rebels vs. the Empire are common parts of Star Wars lore. But what if some random person in an unknown corner of the universe got hold of a lightsaber or some of that power on his own? That's the premise of the duel. I never thought I would be given this much freedom to interpret Star Wars in my own way. So I figured if we were allowed to do whatever we wanted, we should go all in. Star Wars Visions The Village Bride Kinema Citrus from Made in Abyss, Hitosha Haga will get into the alien side of Star Wars with a galactic wedding story that takes a turn. There are so many planets in the galaxy and I wanted to explore the various customs that might be out there. Weddings are celebrated in so many different ways even here on Earth, and I wanted to show how customs can differ by using the relatable example of a wedding ceremony. Even in Japan, we have had a variety of different kinds of wedding customs over time, and not all weddings are happy occasions, Haga explains. So who knows what could happen? Star Wars Visions Akakiri Sign Sarus from Japan since 2020 Yun Yong Choi has made a short that she describes as an ephemeral love story between a Jedi and princess, and it doesn't necessarily have a happy ending. It is a kind of ephemeral road movie that follows the two of them and their friends on their journey. Star Wars Visions T0B1 Sign Sarus Abel Gongora has a segment inspired by the Astro Boy anime, which tells a story about a little droid. But even though he is a droid, he has his own dreams, but eventually he will give up on his dreams for something bigger. So it is like a growing up story. Star Wars Visions Tatooine Rhapsody Studio Coloridos from Burn the Witch, Taku Kimura, went with this nostalgic reference for his segment, which will be very much a rock opera musical. It has rock music, action, and a concert scene. 
It has a message of doing what is in your heart, regardless of your position. Of course, invoking the name of Tatooine comes with some clear obligations to the Star Wars fan base. Boba Fett and Jabba the Hutt have a lot of existing fans who love them, so I try to balance that weight of expectation with some new characters and a satisfying story, he said. It is a lot of pressure. Star Wars Visions will stream on Disney Plus starting September 22nd.